is up, Risen Nation? Let me turn this off. What is up, Risen Nation? How you guys doing? It's a wonderful day. It is a Friday. Happy Friday. We got through the week. Uh, training was great. Um, we, me and my boy Luis started a transformation challenge, so we'll see how that goes. It's about eight weeks. If you didn't join the, the transformation challenge yet, you can still do it. Um, there's a first form one that's for free. I'll put the link in the description down below. But this video is specifically for losing weight. All right, so I had my boy Tyler message me on Instagram, and he was like, Hey, yo, Eric, how do I count my calories, my daily caloric intake, and have that all kind of organized to lose weight? That's a really good question, Tyler. Why? Because a lot of people struggle with the eating part of weight loss. I think it's the hardest part, to be honest. You can go to the gym, you can get your workouts in, but once you get hungry, you get hungry. That's the reality of it, you know what I mean? And most of us are not like, yo, I'm a grub on some celery or on some carrots because you know, I'm I'm fin I'm finna munch, you know? No, it's like, I want a burger, yo. I want some fries, I want a frosty. That's the hard part, in my opinion. That was a hard part for me too. But once you learn discipline, it'll be easy. So, here's the thing. If you're trying to lose weight, you wanna stick to the 2,000 calories per day range but what you're trying to do is you're trying to cut back 500 calories so it's a caloric deficit from the 2000 that the u.s government uh requires no uh says to do you know the national association or something um if you're trying to gain muscle you want to surpass that and if you're actually going to the gym and doing those things you want to surpass that 500 calorie so it's a 500 calorie deficit or a 500 calorie more <laughs> if you're trying to count calories you can always go to the apps there is my fitness pal there's my calorie counter and you can put in there and put everything that you're eating during the day and it'll obviously measure whether you've eaten enough or not eaten enough the cool thing about those apps this is no in no way a sponsorship or anything um, but they are very useful the cool thing about those apps is that they tell you exactly how much you should be eating and what you should be eating they give uh, they give like recommendations uh, and they also go towards your goals so they give you like like my fitness pal I've used it before where it tells you how many carbs you should eat a day uh, how much fat and how many how much protein you should intake uh, requiring uh, what while well, looking at the goal that you're trying to set so overall this question is how do I count calories and you know how do I lose weight doing it just download that app watch what you eat in my personal opinion I don't count calories unless I'm like trying to shred for like a photo shoot or something just watch what you eat always stick to water number one so let me take you guys through a little uh, stroll through my day Eric what he does in the morning he wakes up alarm goes off what day is it you know what I normally have I always have actually is a glass of water sitting next to my bed why because as soon as you wake up you want you something to go inside your body that's gonna start your metabolism it's gonna kick start it and you're gonna just you know work on your own your body's gonna start burning fat and and all that so you want to chug water one glass of water right right when you wake up breakfast I'll normally have a protein shake my banana and about two to three eggs 46 grams of protein already for my breakfast you know and it's it's pretty lean because they're eggs protein bars and my carbs that are and my sugars that are in the banana after that in about two hours I'll get a little hungry I'll be like uh, I'll eat a protein bar I love pure protein, I love one protein, I love Quest protein bars, they're all amazing. I'd eat that, and in about two hours it'll be lunchtime. I'll eat. Now here's the here's the golden question. Eric, what do you eat for lunch? Or what do you eat to stay thin and lean? This is the golden question. And a lot of people will charge you to give you this uh, nutrition plan or whatever, but here it goes for free. Ding 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 ding. Eric eats normally lean chicken breast brown rice and vegetables that's normally what i eat on a daily basis if you guys saw my panda express uh vlog that was one of my first ones that's normally what i'm eating i mean not specifically panda but i'll like 
buy chicken breast that's super cheap and I'll make it myself super lean or I'll bake it. That's a lean lunch. I'm normally eating that. If you're not, if you don't like chicken that much or if you get sick of it, which you will, you, there's salmon, there's fish, there's tilapia that you can make, you know, any type of chicken. There's some steak that's high in protein, low, low in carbs, low in fat. Um, but there's always an option out there to eat lean. Always. And I promise, if you saw my Instagram post about two or three weeks ago, it's cheap. It's really cheap and I'll make a video about where and how to buy it in a little bit. Here's the thing though, uh, you do want your body to stay in an anabolic state. I'll talk about this in the next video but I'll just kind of summarize it right now. Uh, anabolics it means that your muscles are growing and repairing and your body is using fat for fuel. Now that happens when you're eating. When you don't eat your body goes into a catabolic state which means your body starts to eat and fuel on muscle and it stores fat. So what you want is that you want your body to be in an anabolic state, which is why it's good to be eating every two hours, two to three hours. You want to be eating. A lot of people say, no, that's too much food or that's too much for me. But when you stop eating, your body goes into that catabolic state and it's so bad for you and that's when your body starts to store fat, which is not cool. To lose weight, all you gotta do is stick to high intensity interval training, HIIT training. Don't always just go straight for the treadmills. If you're gonna go for the treadmills, if you like the treadmills, you have to run, you have to do sprints for 30 seconds, then you have to walk for 15, 20 seconds, sprint for 45 seconds, like that's what it is. Your, your heart rate has to go up and it has to go down. It has to go up and go down because that's the most effective way for your body to lose fat fat on its on its own while you're working you know phone dad my dudes I'm sorry it cut mid uh, sentence but where were we here's the thing I've been there I've been overweight I've been um, to the point where it's like I'm frustrated I don't know what to do I don't look good I don't feel good I don't want to be in this body I just not me it's part of it you know it's part of life it's part of losing yourself to find yourself again which is good because once you come to understand the importance of your body and how it works and what you're supposed to be doing with it you'll appreciate life more it's happened to me and it's happening to me currently what you have to understand is that it is possible it's not easy it's hard you know you spend so many years gaining weight and eating unhealthy that it's not gonna happen overnight, it's not gonna happen in a week, it's not gonna happen in a month. You know, you're not gonna lose weight or be at the weight that you wanna be in a month. It takes time. Just like it took time to gain weight, it's gonna take time and effort to lose it. Unfortunately, it takes more time and effort to lose it than to gain it, right? But I'm here to tell you guys that it's possible. Don't get frustrated. If you ever have any questions, reach out to people that know, that have knowledge. I'm always available on my direct messages. Tyler, thank you for this question. It's exactly why I'm making this video. Um, but if I can tell you guys something, losing weight is not about starving yourself. It's not about not eating. It's not about not enjoying. It's not about being on a diet. The word diet always scares people. And it's not about being on a diet. It's about having a good nutrition. You know, I personally thought that I was supposed to starve myself to look good and I did do it for a little bit, but it never gave me the best results. It didn't give me the results I wanted. I wasn't strong. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't fully engaging and appreciating life because I was always hungry. I was always like, uh, like I hate this, you know. I always wanted to give up. But I'm here to tell you that weight loss is not about not eating. It's not about under eating. It's not about giving up the things that you love. I promise that you can eat the things that you like, the things that you enjoy, the things that you love. All you have to do is stick to discipline, stick to eating and giving your body the nutrients and the things that it needs so that it can lose weight on its own. God gave us a thing called metabolism. <laughs> and what that is is that the body uses fat and muscle for fuel. Like, it'll get rid of fat if you give it the things necessary to do it, you know? Um, but guys, don't starve yourselves. That's number one, you know? There's better ways to do it. You always have to just keep your body working for itself and it'll do the work for you. That does not mean you're not supposed to go to the gym. It does not mean you're not supposed to eat healthy, you know? Get out there, stay fit, stay healthy, stay with lean chickens, eat tuna, eat tilapia, eat brown rice that has a lot of fiber, eat a lot of cheese, cheese is really good. Eat all your veggies and your fruits. If you can't, um, First Form has a wonderful Opti Greens 50 if you don't get enough vegetables in during the day. 
I'll put the uh, description and the link down below so you can check that out if it's an option for you. Cool, you know? Um, but th those are my opinions, guys. Go out and do that. I am happy with my body. And it, it all comes because I came to an understanding that having abs or being thin isn't about starving yourself and just doing complete cardio. You know, it's about giving yourself the nutrition that you need. And I've never been happier, I've never been healthier, I've never been stronger, okay? So, those are Eric's tips on how to lose weight. Do that, let me know if you guys want any recipes, I can throw you guys some recipes. Um, I'm actually somewhat of a cook, you know? But, uh, guys, I love you guys, thank you guys for watching all my videos. Sorry I haven't posted much nutrition stuff, I will be doing that more. I'll be putting up, I'll, I'll take you guys to the store with me, I'll show you guys what I normally buy, I'll show you guys some recipes. But um, thanks for sticking with me. Here is on how to lose weight. Um, Eric style, Risen Elite style. Much love. Peace out. Yeah.